the prodigal son. He leaves home, lives a raucous life, and comes back a broken man. It's a parable of forgiveness and redemption. IWU junior Jeff Bowman knows the feeling. My name is Jeff Bowman. He grew up in a Christian household. The family went to church. Jeff went along. I liked it, but it wasn't, I wasn't really grasping the whole concept. Started playing soccer when I was about three. Soccer has been Jeff's life. In seventh grade, he started club soccer in Chicago. It took priority for him. I wasn't really going to church too much on Sundays because I would have practice and games. Church attendance stopped, and in high school, he joined the wrong crowd. Partying and stuff, so I got into that at an early age, started drinking. Being at a party every other weekend, I started doing it more and more throughout my high school career. Jeff started college searching. Was looking at a few Division I schools. He wanted big time. His parents wanted Indiana Wesleyan University. They contacted the coach there. And I didn't really know about it, and when I found out, I was pretty upset. Jeff visited. Came down and got a tour and everything, and, and his parents were there. And eventually attended IWU. He kind of felt like he was forced to be here by his parents, and um, he just, just really didn't enjoy it here. He wanted to transfer out after one year, but something else happened. He broke one of his toes in his foot, and that you know, sidelined him for uh, that entire year. This got Jeff's attention. He recommitted his life to Christ, but lived like before. I was still drinking and doing drugs, still messing around with girls. The second year rolled around, and he still planned on transferring. But once again, he took a hit. I fractured my L4 vertebrae. Half of our season, um, he had to sit out. He got back on the field but it wasn't his best year. Jeff continued his decadent lifestyle. Doing the same exact things I was in my freshman year of partying and all that stuff of the world. The school year ended and Jeff went home and partied. I made some really bad decisions over the summer. But things would change. Coach Castro had asked me to go on a leadership retreat. Pretty much gave my life to Christ. I was done with all the stuff that I was doing. When he came back, he was just on fire for the Lord. He really got rocked and changed quite a bit, and that was a really a big moment where he was just like, it's time for me to grow up. That season, Jeff tied for the most points on the team. The next summer would include ministry. I actually got the opportunity to play on the Chicago Eagles this summer with Jeff. It's a soccer ministry up in Chicago. Seeing him um, grow on the field, but also off the field with the spiritual walk and kind of mend those together, just been awesome to see. Jeff had a solid 2012 season and still has one more as a Wildcat. After this, he wants to play more soccer. Either professionally or semi-pro, um, that's a goal of mine. He's always wanted to, to play at the highest level soccer that he possibly can whether that's Major League Soccer, whether that's USL, A-League. The sky's the limit for Jeff, and if he wants to go play at that next level, he has the skill, he has the talent, and he certainly has the passion to do so. He went astray, but God drew him back. And now, Jeff Bowman is a competitor for Christ.